Welcome to this new installment of the E Academy dedicated to the Versa Plus control panel. Today's video is the second installment dedicated to configuring the Earthnet module of the Versa Plus control panel. In the first part, we showed you how to enter the network settings for the module and configure the email messaging. In this installment, we will continue configuring the module for communication with the control panel by means of the DLoadX program via the Earthnet network. We will also configure the connection setup service to allow you to easily communicate with the control panel through the Versa control application. We will use the set used in the previous installment consisting of the Versa Plus control panel with transformer and battery as well as the INT TSG keypad. We also have a computer running Windows operating system, mini USB cable and the latest version of the DLoadX program. Of course, access to the internet is also required. The control panel is already running in service mode. How to enter the service mode was shown in the previous installment, so let's connect the panel to a computer. Start the Deload X program. Then connect the unit to the computer via a mini USB cable. The panel reports in the program, accept the USB connection and read the data from the system. You can see the data reading status on the progress bar. In the previous installment, we made identification of the modules and entered the network settings. We will now continue the configuration of the Earthnet module. Go to the Structured and Hardware window, open the Hardware tab, select Versa ETH position. First, select the Satel Server options. In the Mac field, you can see the physical address of the module. The ID field has only the letter F, which is the default value. Save the data to the panel. After saving the data, the IP address of the local network will be displayed in the IP field. And after establishing a connection to the server, the public address will also appear. Click the refresh button in the ID field to read the unique 16 character connection identifier. The appearance of the identifier confirms that a connection with the connection setup service has been established. Let us explain in a few words what the connection service is. It is an innovative way to quickly and easily establish a connection to the control panel. Previously, to connect to the control panel, you had to know its IP address. In the absence of a public IP address, you were forced to use the DYN DNS services and also configure the port forwarding on your router. For the Versa Plus to establish a connection, all you need to know is the MAC address and ID of the control panel. This is possible thanks to the service provided by our company. It offers a fully encrypted secure connection between the Versa Plus control panel and the computer or mobile application. Once connected, select Communication with Mobile Application. It will allow you to connect to the panel using the Versa Control application, which we will show you in the next installment. An interesting feature you can use is the possibility to enable synchronization of the control panel clock with the time server. Using this option, you can be sure that the control panel time is always updated. Remember also to select the appropriate time zone. Another interesting option is the Deload X program's ability to connect to the Versa Plus control panel. To use it, select Communication with Deload X ETHM-1, save the data to the panel. If the option is enabled, you can immediately connect to the panel via the network which we will show you in a moment. To do so, click the connection icon on the program menu bar and select TCP slash IP Satel Server. In the connection window, click the connect button and wait for the control panel connection message. After a while, a connection is established, which is indicated by the flashing TCP slash IP connection icon. 
And that's all with regard to configuring the Earthnet module for connection with the Deload X and mobile application. In the next eAcademy installment, we will discuss and present functionality of the Versa Control mobile application. For more detailed information on the subject discussed in today's material, please follow the link under the video. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installment of the eAcademy. See you again. Thank you.